What if one simple concept could instantly multiply the impact of your pen test results? I used to struggle to convert random vulnerabilities into compelling findings until I discovered the concept of using gadgets. In this video, I'm going to show you how gadgets easily turn low findings into mediums, mediums into highs and highs into critical, making your pen tests more impactful than ever. To start, I'm going to define the concept. In hacking, a gadget is any piece of functionality that while not a vulnerability on its own, can be leveraged to amplify or chain with another vulnerability. This definition comes from the GOAT himself, Rhino Raider. Think of gadgets like accelerants, the spark might be XSS or SSRF, but the gadget, that's the gasoline. These could be open redirects, client side path traversal, which is one of my favorites, self XSS or even XSS on subdomains. Things that by themselves aren't the biggest red flag, but in the right hands with the right bug, change absolutely everything. So how does this fit into your hacking methodology, you may ask? Good question. Well, next, I'll show you by giving you a real world example of a web application test I recently did. Before I give you an example, though, subscribe to the newsletter. I send out even more in-depth discussions on there and answer questions that I never answer on the channel. Link will be in the description below. Subscribe to the channel as well, though. Anyways, moving on. This was a standard web application test and it had multiple tiers of users. These are my favorite because having multiple tiers of users is practically begging you to find privilege escalation issues, which are usually very easy to find. But that wasn't the rabbit hole I went down immediately during this engagement. Early in the assessment, I spotted something minor but interesting. Session cookies that weren't marked HTTP only. The HTTP only flag on session cookies helps prevent client side scripts like JavaScript from accessing the cookie, mitigating the risk of session theft via attacks such as XSS. Now, if you've been doing this for a while, you know that missing HTTP only is one of those things that doesn't actually get fixed if you report it. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? You should report it though, but it's just a missing security control. I made note of it, then moved on. Nothing to see here, at least yet. This led me to the next phase of my pen test, which was mapping the application, throwing payloads around, basic hygiene stuff. You know the drill. Suddenly, a payload renders, and then we have stored XSS. And here's where my mind immediately jumps back. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Weren't the session cookies missing the HTTP only flag? Say, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. You see, XSS by itself is cool. However, without a target or something to abuse it with, something to carry it, the accelerant we talked about, it often sits as a medium severity issue. But add the right gadget, like session cookies without the HTTP only flag, and now you can execute JavaScript that can access the session cookies. And what do you do with JavaScript that can access session cookies? Good question. We still sessions. With this, I was basically able to escalate from a low privileged user to an administrative user by abusing this functionality, all made possible by taking note of the smaller things that may not immediately be severe issues. So again, I asked the question, how does this fit into your hacking methodology? For me, this had always been a part of my methodology, but I didn't have a name for it. I should take note of the smaller things, potentially use them later, right? Everyone should be learning how to do that. But putting a definition to the concept and being more mindful about it changed the entire game for me. Adding conceptual gadgets to my list of test cases and keeping track of them helps me track my progress better. And this has led me to some pretty cool findings over the past few months. Justin Gardner from the Critical Thinking Podcast always talks about failing forward, um, that each gadget found is progress and each endpoint noted is progress as well. He said, just because you didn't find a bug in this hacking session doesn't mean that you have failed. Did you learn more about your target? Did you become more adept to reading HTTP requests or minify JavaScript? Did you find yourself a gadget you can use? Those are all wins and just the mindset shift really changed the game for me not finding any bugs during a hacking session isn't failure so continue looking for the juicy stuff but in doing so look for the cool gadgets as well if you haven't even gotten to the point of being able to hack yet and you're still looking for a starting point check out this video somewhere on screen for a roadmap i recommend to get into application security 
or just a general cybersecurity roadmap for my offensive people that want to become hackers, that want to become red teamers, that want to become penetration testers. It's a comprehensive guide, but if you have any questions after, join the Discord. Link will be in the description below. Follow me on LinkedIn and hit me up there or on Discord, whatever you prefer. But that's it for me. Catch you in the next one. Peace.